Okay, we good, we good, we good. All right, okay. Yo, what's up fam? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy, Brandon Rico. And if this is your first time on the channel, what's up fam? Welcome to the channel. So today I wanna talk about something that you guys have been asking me to talk about from the beginning. Like, I get so many requests for this. And today I'm gonna just talk about my YouTube studio setup and how I record my videos for YouTube, for this YouTube channel here. And um, yeah, but real quick, before we do that, if you like videos talking about music production on your mobile devices and some ways to improve your beats while making beats on the go, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss anything that I post in the future. So like I said, on this channel, we talk about a whole lot of stuff. Anything from tech, gadgets, and music equipment, um, how to make better beats. So now I'm gonna start talking about the cameras that I use in my whole setup. I'm thinking I might break these up into sections, into different videos. So depending on how good this video does and the response that I get from you guys, I'll consider doing a video breaking down each camera and why I use them, when I use them, and how I use them for each scenario of me recording these videos. I'll also do a video and start a playlist talking about my whole studio setup and my official studio room tour, if that's something that you guys are into. So if you guys want to see something like that, go ahead and drop me a comment in the section below and let's get this started. All right. So this is where I usually do my YouTube setup um, tutorials and all my overhead shots so that you can see the iPad and stuff like that. This section over here is usually where I am when I'm doing that. Um, and if you come over here, you can see that I have this boom arm. I have this boom arm and there's a camera on top of it. This is the Panasonic LX10. This is the Panasonic LX10. This is a nice point and shoot with a flip screen. So I uh, usually get, use this for all my overhead shots. This boom arm was actually intended for a microphone, um, but uh, let me show you. So this boom arm was actually originally intended for a microphone. What I ended up doing was uh, buying an adapter. So I have this screwed on here like this. And like I said, I bought an adapter for it. Um, this is, I don't know what size this is. I think it's like a uh, three fourth quarter um, adapter for this. And then it goes to a, um, it goes to a, tri a regular tripod, tripod mount adapt um screw here i just bought that for that this this boom arm is actually made by newer so i use that to get most of my overhead shots and sometimes i'll even use this to mount either you know i'll either mount the uh point and shoot camera for the overhead shots or i'll mount my phone sometimes when i'm doing live videos like for instagram or something like that this phone clip actually has a uh, quarter inch input on the back of it as well as at the bottom of it so yeah i'll either mount my phone on it like that and sometimes I'll um and sometimes I'll just mount my phone up here um to get some stuff for like Instagram live or something like that and that's what holds my phone and it just looks like that so yeah <laughs> but the reason that I like this camera so much the uh, Panasonic LX10 is because it has the flip up screen so that I can see myself um it's really small pocketable and um it's really good, really good video quality, decent battery life, and it's pocketable. So yeah, this is a must have for any YouTube studio. I did a lot of my first videos on this camera. So um, this was my main camera for the channel for, for a good while. So if you want me to do a review on this camera or any of the other products that I talk about in this video, just go ahead and drop me a comment. So I will be posting links to where you can buy everything that I talk about in this video in the description as well. They are affiliate links and I do get like a small kickback from that. So yeah, go ahead and click the link, hook your boy up, appreciate that. Anyway, so the next camera that I want to talk about is the main camera that I use for the channel and it's actually the main channel camera for a reason. Like I said, I use this point and shoot camera for a very long time. This is very good in low light and yeah, I'll just, I'll talk about that in another video. The only negative that I can say about this camera is that it does not have a uh, audio input jack and which brings me to the next camera. So there's something that I want to tell you guys that most YouTubers probably won't tell you and this is how I prioritize my videos um, and, and video quality. So I usually prioritize my videos in like three categories and that's usually AVL. And when I say AVL, I mean audio, 
video and lighting. So the audio has to be on point. If the audio is bad, nobody cares about what the video looks like. And when I use this camera, the um, Panasonic LX10, um, the audio was okay. It was decent enough to get the point across, but it wasn't perfect. So I went and got this camera, the Panasonic G7, which is the one that I'm shooting on right now. And this is the video quality from the Panasonic G7 with a Rode Video Micro. Hold on, let me show you. So this is the Panasonic G7 with the Rode Video Micro on top with the windscreen. And you can see that this is on a, a small tripod. It's the Panasonic G7 with the kit lens. And yeah, so, so this is the main channel camera for all of my videos because it has the mic input. It shoots in 4K, but I never really use it. Um, it's small, compact, lightweight, and it's a perfect camera for YouTube. So when we think in audio, video, and lighting, we think about audio as priority. So which is, which is why I got the, which is why I got the Rode video mic up top. I just wanted to be able to have some type of clear, crisp audio, um, better than the one that I had coming out of this one. Um, you can tell the difference from when I'm talking into this one versus when I'm talking into that one It's just night and day. You can, you can hear the difference from in camera audio to out out of the uh, Rode Video Micro. So that's that camera, the Panasonic G7. Um, that is the video from this camera to that camera. Like I said, I shoot with Panasonic cameras. Panasonic cameras actually have a bad rep for having bad autofocus, but for what I need and the things that I do in my videos, the autofocus for me has not been an issue. I like the Panasonic G7 because it is a mirrorless camera, meaning you can in interchange the lenses. You can upgrade your lenses when you get, you know, when you start to grow in your in your journey for using those cameras. And then it has the flippy screen that I can rotate and then I can see myself and see what's in frame and stuff like that so that's it pretty much checks off everything that i need for a, a youtube setup camera audio video and then what do we add next lighting okay so lighting this is something that i could talk about in a more extensive uh video probably my uh, home studio setup my room tour um but i have different lights um in different places i have different you know I have the LifeX bulbs in here, all three bulbs, those change colors, as well as the LifeX beam right here that also changes colors so that I can paint the walls with pretty much any color I feel like. And then I have a, what is this called? Nano leaf. <laughs> I have the nano leaf um, light panels that go across the wall like this you probably can't see it but this also changes colors as well and you can see up here that i have the windows um, of the room kind of blacked out so i can have complete control of the lighting in this room <laughs> these cameras need light of course they need light but the more light that you have on your subject the better you'll be able to see and the better you'll be able to get um those those blurry backgrounds like the shallow depth of field if you have your subject lit up the right way um then you can always get the crispy clear image that you're looking for so that is what i'm using for lighting and uh yeah i have a um i have an external light that i probably should use more often um, probably to get some more of the shadows and stuff away from my face But like I said for what I'm doing on this YouTube channel, I really don't need it um, I'm just doing a whole lot of talking head shots. Um, they could look a lot better with some more lighting. Hold on. Let me see All right, so I have this aperture light um, It's called the Amaron M9 I believe and this thing gets super super bright So it also comes with a uh, hot shoe mount um, That you can actually clamp to it it comes with a hot shoe mount that you can clamp to it and set it on top of your camera. And yeah, this thing gets super bright. So, like I said, if I wanted to, I could actually uh, use this a lot more in my videos. My videos would probably look a lot better if I use this inside of, uh, <laughs> inside of my videos. But for what I'm doing, I don't think I really need it that much. But yeah. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If I do I need to start using the light or what?
and I'll have some links in the description of where you can grab that. Yeah. And I can't forget about talking about the desk itself. This is a sidecar um, by Studio Desks. I got this from, like, I think I got it from uh, gar uh, Garage Band. I got it from Guitar Center um, about six years ago. And yeah, it matches my the rest of my studio desk. I have two sidecars with the regular, um, the main uh, setup here. Um, but yeah, this is my uh, my setup here. And then I have some uh, foam underneath that I'm not using right now. But yeah, this is my uh, desk that I'm usually sitting at. And then I have the microphone here if I need to use some extra external microphone for something like that. Then here I have this um, this LED sort of like uh, 3D light that my dad bought me for my birthday like last year. So yeah, shout out to dad for buying me that. Hashtag hi dad. <laughs> and then for the iPad audio, I usually have this hooked up into these speakers here. These are the JBL 5 inch somethings. I'll link those in the description too. I don't really know what those are. Um, I usually have it hooked up to my interface so that it can power through these speakers, which um, yeah, I'll talk about in my official room setup tour. So I'll usually have the iPad running through this aux cable running into the iPad from into the iPad into this device here, which just kind of broke on me. The screen does not work anymore. So yeah, I'll talk about that in another video too, but yeah. And then I'll have the audio coming from the iPad to the speakers. <laughs> So if you're ever in my studio, it'll just be like, B, pass me the aux. And that's the cord that I'll hand to you. It's like a 16 foot cord. Yeah. <laughs> and then of course I got my instruments that I usually have up here. Um, once again, I'll do a full setup tour um, on my whole desk and everything and how I have that set up as well. So yeah, that's pretty much my YouTube setup. I'm trying to see if I missed anything, if I forgot to mention anything. Yeah, that's pretty much how I set up my videos. I record. I usually put this camera right over here. So I usually put this camera right over here. I have it set up just like that. And then I'm sitting here talking to you guys like this. And this is how you see me. I have the camera set up. I got the roll video mic. I have the overhead shot either using the phone or uh, something like the Osmo Pocket. Um, I have the Osmo Pocket paired with the phone sometimes and I have that um, hooked up down there. Or I'll have the camera that I'm shooting on right now, um, the LX10 up there on the boom arm, um, just like that. And that's pretty much how I shoot my YouTube videos. Like sometimes I have the cameras mounted in other places. Like I have a, um, I have a couple of mounts around the room that um, that I some use sometimes. I have a GoPro mounted here. This is an old GoPro uh, Hero Three that I have mounted. Um, it's just on a, uh, it was on a security camera mount. Or I'll just clip another camera to something totally random using something like this. This is a. Uh, random uh, it's just a regular clip with a tripod mount ball head screw uh, screwed onto it um, by uh, this is some sublime wear I don't know I have that I have all this stuff in the description yeah so when you see me like mounting like my cameras in crazy positions and you're like oh shoot how do you get that shot yeah that's usually <laughs> that's usually how I'm doing it. And then, like I said, because when it comes to the lighting, I can control all these lights uh, exactly to exactly how I want them, um, real time, anywhere from color temperature to you know brightness, to darkness, or however I want it. Um, the, these these are all smart lights, so I can tell Alexa or. I don't know if I just set somebody's Alexa off, my bad. I can tell Alexa, but in my case, in my room, it's called Echo. I can say, Echo, turn off my studio. Then all the lights turn off. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then you can't see anything. See what I mean about, see what I mean about these cameras need light? Echo, turn on my studio. and there we go but like i said that's something else we can get into when i do my whole room studio tour i can talk more about that and how i have that whole thing set up um 
yeah so there you have it that is my basic youtube studio setup and um this is how i record my videos i'm usually in here by myself so all the mounting options all the tripods all the cameras and stuff like that i'm usually setting up myself and i have to get extremely creative with it um <laughs> Whenever I use this, this point and shoot camera, I usually try, um, since upgrading from this camera, I usually try to use an external audio source, um, something, that I, something that I can use to uh, get better audio. And uh, I usually use the Shure MV88, uh, which pl actually plugs into my phone. So I can use this and it plugs right into my iPhone and then I use this for external audio so I just hit record and then sync the uh, sync the audio and the video in post uh, post production so also if you want to see how I edit my videos and my editing process uh, yeah go ahead and drop me a comment for that as well I really hope that I'm not forgetting anything I really feel like I'm forgetting something oh yeah so I talked about the uh, Osmo pocket a little bit um, I can do some more reviews on that but these are more so vlogging cameras than um, YouTube cameras um, even though I still use these for YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that so if you also if you want to see more videos on how I set up my cameras for Instagram as well go ahead and drop me a comment um, I use the GoPro every once in a while this is a GoPro Hero Session 1 version 1 um, yeah so I, I use that for creative shots and stuff so yeah so this is my YouTube setup and this is how I record everything um, yeah like i said i'll put some uh, links in the description down below on each and every piece of gear that i talked about or if not i'll just put a link to my entire vlogging kit on uh, my entire gear kit at kit.com so it's kit.com slash brandon rico i'll put that link in the description as well um so you can click that and see my overall kit and all the gear that i use for um, youtube as well as some other stuff all the gear that i use for my uh, music production and stuff like that too so yeah be on the lookout for those other videos i know a lot of you guys have been asking me a lot a lot to uh, talk about my cameras a whole lot more and my process for shooting my videos and how i edit them and stuff like that so yeah so in addition to all the uh, music tutorials and stuff like that, we can start a whole new playlist for camera gear and stuff like that if you guys are interested in that. If you found something you like in this video, go ahead and use those affiliate links. I definitely appreciate it. And if this video was helpful to you in any type of way, please go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, so remember, if I can create like this, and you can create like this. This is your boy Brandon Rico. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for rocking with the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog or tutorial or however else, however we're going to do this. I'll see y'all next week. Peace. <laughs>